Okay, so here's our first and simple example on solving linear inequalities. And uh, the instructions, which I didn't write, says to solve for x and to plot the solution, okay, uh, or to graph the solution. So let's go about as we would have solving a linear inequality, okay. All I would do is say 6x plus 5. I don't want the plus 5 there, so I subtract it. And I should just simply do that on both sides. 5 minus 5. Now notice that though I'm subtracting a number, that does not swap my sign around. It's only when I multiply with a negative. Okay, so at this stage, I'm just decreasing the left-hand side with 5 and also the right-hand side with 5 as well. So now we have that 6x is smaller than 0, which means that now when I divide with a 6 on both sides to get my x alone, okay, I get that x is still smaller or equal to 0. So if I had to go and plot this, then there's my number line. Okay, I can put zero wherever. I'm just going to put put it there in. Uh, sorry, that shouldn't have a negative. I'm just going to put it there, negative one, negative two. So how do I do it? Well, zero is included. So zero is included, and I want everything smaller than zero. But I like to look at this as well as an arrow pointing backwards. So I want everything in this direction okay so if I had to go and write this in uh, interval notation I would have said X is an element of everything from it the smallest number isn't there's no smaller number so that's infinity negative infinity actually sorry about that and the biggest number X can be is 0 and 0 is included so we do it like this Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, this time we have that negative 3x minus 13 is greater than 10. Okay, so we have negative 3x minus 13. First we get rid of our constants. So we're going to add a 13 on both sides. Sorry, that should actually be plus 13, sorry. So this turns around sorry about that okay this must be plus 13 I'm subtracting 13 on both sides so minus 13 on both sides and then I see that the uh, well the reason I did this was to get rid of that 13 so I have in my next step only negative 3 x on the left hand side is greater than negative 3 on the right hand side so now to solve this I divide with a negative 3 but the moment I divide I have to swap my sign around so actually before I'd rather just write this step again divided by negative 3 because the moment I write that divide by negative 3 my sign should swap around okay so just to warn you, you can't do it as with a normal equation. Just draw a line under there and say negative 3 divided by negative 3. The moment you do it, the sign must swap around. So we'll have to rewrite that step. Or just erase your sign if you can. Erase your sign and make it a smaller than. It used to be a greater than. So why do we swap the sign around? Because we're multiplying with a negative. We're now working on the other side of the number line. So this now becomes x is less than and this is positive 1 x is less than positive 1 now I have to go and draw the solution again so there is my number line put 0 there 1 2 negative 1 negative 2 and 1 I'm smaller than 1 so 1 is not included let me just change my color here it helps okay 1 is not included so it's an open dot but everything less than 1 is included so everything less than 1 
there we go so what is the smallest value so let's write this in interval notation the smallest value that x can take well we don't know it's negative infinity okay and uh, but it goes up to the largest value that it can take is one but it can't take one it's not equal to one so it's not included so the largest number is also not known it might be zero comma nine 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 all the way up to infinity okay uh, although not really at some point it has to stop because actually I don't know if you knew, know this but did you know that one is equal to zero comma nine 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 all the way up to infinity there's actually a proof of that I'm not gonna go into it but there's a proof for why these two are the same okay so at some point it has to stop zero point nine 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 can't go into infinity but if um, uh, that would be the largest number it can take but <laughs> uh, let's stop this there and uh, we'll continue with in the next video with some more examples just a little bit more complicated than these type we've seen but only slightly I'll see you in those videos